of stuck here. The cops won't bother me. You know, I don't know if you guys know much about Maryland. I think a lot of people don't know. Uh, you know, if you're watching these videos, you do know that I live like in the outskirts of Washington, D.C. And Maryland itself is kind of diverse. But the area that I live in is interesting because, and I think it flies under the radar, because a lot of politicians, a lot of people with a lot of money live in this area. You know, not this particular neighborhood. I'm just riding around here. But in the county that I live in, which is Montgomery County, the weird thing is that it's one of the most they call it affluent in the entire United States because there's like so many people with money and I think it's kind of like conservative money it's the type of people that don't really like to show off their money when you go to Miami for example or Florida people are much more showy with their money Los Angeles but there is a lot more money here than Orange County California for example but I think it flies under the radar because people are not interested in advertising. There's like so much money that's like government connected. You know, there's like the big contractors for the government, Lockheed and stuff. Everything is kind of headquartered here. And even though, you know, San Francisco is so expensive, but DC is just as expensive. It's a very strange thing that, that happens. It's all clustered in a couple in a couple of counties so we have montgomery county where where the rich people do live and then there's like pg and pg only has one or two good areas the rest are um minority and low income and it's kind of a shame because they pay more taxes than they do in montgomery so in montgomery you have like Bethesda, Silver Spring, Chevy Chase, all of these really expensive areas. And people have old money. And I think there's a lot of shady money around here. I think there's shady money everywhere. The more I hear about like scams, I realize that the biggest scam is really the government. And they just give these massive contracts to these private contractors for billions of dollars all the time and that's the thing my friends that are contractors you can pretty much write your own you know price the government doesn't really care if you're supplying things to the government you can charge way more I think that in a way Trump kind of realized that then he's like no nah, I'm not paying for that I think he did it a couple of times, but he's just as shady as everybody else. Maryland is quietly one of the most affluent and wealthy places in the United States. There's just so many lobbyists. Everybody's a lawyer. Lawyers, man, everywhere. And it seems like a lot of people are moving away from lawyering because it doesn't pay as much but the lowering lowering here lawyering here is more like attending to the government type of uh work man the people here make so much money it's like you can throw a rock and hit somebody that makes four hundred thousand dollars for the government oh oh man Oh man, that suspension, that just hit that hole, man, my freaking neck. Jesus, I thought this thing was supposed to be plush. I think it's those stupid forks. 